hello guys and welcome to the full stack project youtube channel and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a simple workflow on how to set up uh, eslint properly in your next 13 website so you know when you are creating a next 13 website uh, next 13 project this is a brand new next 13 project here so it has already you know kind of installed uh, eslint like if you go to this uh, package to json you can see there's a lint command as well but it's not properly configured as i may say so for an example in here i have used a uh, let name uh, unused variable and also unused import here but if you run the lint command like npm run lint on the project you can see it shows no warnings right no ESLint warning. So if we go to this ESLint uh, JSON file, so this is the default JSON file you get. There are no rules or anything. So this video I will show you how you can add the basic things like you know uh, adding warnings for these unused variables and unused imports. So you can get start with the uh, basic ESLint workflow. So first of all what you have to do is you have to install the ESLint TypeScript plugin so for that you have to go to this link here you can see the types of ESLint ESLint plugin and you can uh, in, using npm or yarn or your package manager you can install this plugin here so I have already installed it prior to this video in here you can see I have installed this plugin here then next bit of thing is to add the configuration in the eslint rc.json file so i will here copy the bunch of uh, plugin and the rules that you have to add for this eslint json file so i will share the code on the youtube channel description as well so this is it so after you uh, install this ESLint TypeScript plugin the next thing is you have to import it under the plugin so this is very important like if you ever come across this kind of error here like definition for all types create ESL ESLint no unused was not found so if you come across this kind of error the reason main reason must be uh, you haven't imported plugins properly to your ESLint uh, uh, JSON file and after that I have added few rules so don't worry I will share this uh, code uh, this JSON file on the description and here I have added a few rules here like we have off switched off the uh, default unused was which is given from ESLint but we have used the one in the TypeScript ESLint here so this is very important because what I have come across is uh, if we didn't switch off this you get some uh, unused variable errors for type definitions for uh, types in redux and those kind of uh, some uh, errors so to avoid that i have switched off the default eslint no unused was rule and i have added this one here so this also uh, these are also some other you know basic type of rules so import no one resolved so if you have any unresolved imports uh, it shows an error and this is for named imports like if you are importing the entire package instead of uh, importing you know the specific function you want if you didn't use named import uh, where it is possible so you get this error so these kind of errors uh, can be resolved easily using ESLint and now let's see after installing the plugin after adding these rules for the json file we can run our lint and see whether it shows errors you can see now it shows the errors for these files here i have used an uh, unused variable so here it shows if we delete it and run npm lint command now the errors have been fixed so if you want to get started with the slint with next 
13 so I think this is the way uh, you should start it and later you can you know add different different uh, air, uh, rules based on uh, your favoration and uh, there are other plugins as well you know airbnb es links like you can you know easily add here and you can add it to the extend folder different type of thing different types of way to do the same thing but as to get started i think this will be a, a start a good starting point for new uh, next 13 users so thank you very much guys so i will share you more videos like this when we are working with which are very essential when you are working with full stack projects as beginners thank you very much and have a wonderful day